Welcome to the next generation of the Promo Division. I am the very best that does this. The man, the myth, the legend. Hold long and good night. He already did. You can send back the ambulance. Good God. <laughs> This! You ain't got no wins in Mikasa! A T N T. Next body, please! BWO Promo Division. Better than E Fed. Target set. Bang! And now, the Black Wrestling Order proudly presents. Tonight, we celebrate the creation of the promo division and all of the history that will be made. And this is a celebration by force. Promo teeth. Oh, gosh. Um, whoa, I'm not even in my work shirt. Um, um, I'm sorry. Uh, let me just get my notes up and running. I'm, I am completely embarrassed. Where am I? Oh yeah. Sorry. Let's do it right. Let's do this thing. BWO faithful. It is I, your wrestling professional, the voice of the BWO promo division king in the North, the very best that does this, the best host, damn it. And hopefully you're soon to be talking shit champion. <gasps> Hashtag DB Greatness and welcome to BWO Promo Teenth. This is an epic event. We're celebrating Juneteenth recently, and we are also celebrating the creation of the Promo Division, which started some years ago between 2019 and 2020. I'm going to have to have the history makers to uh, really confirm that. But since then, we have gone on to have epic matches. And tonight is going to be no different. In our main event, the Foundation's World's Champion and the WGP Champion and the True Legend in the BWO Promo Division, your uh, GOAT. He is the Ultra Ego, Bones, Beast Mode, uh, God Mode, Ultra Ego Bones will be taking on the BWO World Champion, the face of the BWO AT, and what is to be one of the most wanted matches in the promo division's history. They have not faced off. Originally, we were supposed to get this match at Promo Mania, but AT cashed in his golden mic that he won this year to face off with Jay the Ace. Jay the Ace was not able to answer the challenge, so he became the BWO World Champion. Then he went on to defend that title that he just won on, uh, with the legend, the returning Hezekiah Little John, who we, we have not been seen since. He was defeated at Promo Mania, already leading to AT's epic title reign as champion. So tonight, Bones wants to take every title that is in the promo verse. So hopefully we will see what goes down. Also, this will be another epic title night as the pure shooter champion, a different breed, the Baba Yaga, the Vagabond, will be taking on Tyler Drummond, the army of one and what is to be one of the epic matches. Now, the pure shooter championship was started in the name of the last shooter, rest in peace to the legend known as Stephen Faison. And since then, his brother, the Vagabond, has defended that title as much as he could. But due to some controversy and there's talk that the actual first champion should have been a <laughs> not a different breed, but it should have been the army of one Tyler Drummond. So tonight they finally settled their scores. There's issues. There's things that have gone back and forth. Now, Tyler, he was the commissioner here at the BWO promo division. So a lot of people have some feelings towards him as to his abilities. 
So the pure shooter title has been in, on his mission, but he's had deep rooted issues with the Vagabond, but the Vagabond has taken on every person that has stepped in front of him. So I know tonight he hopes to prove himself worthy of being the pure shooter title champion holder he has been the pure shooter he has been killing the game as much as he could so tonight he hopes to do it in full force also the Iceman Bobby Miller has said fuck the people he has made it his mission to prove why he should have been named the promo MVP now he has defeated me he defeated me in my return match at Promo Mania. He has, to, he has gone on to try to prove himself left and right now. He has not competed as much, so he, he is hoping to step up his game and get back to proving why he should have been that pro promo MVP. And he will be taking on Buckshot. Now, Buckshot... He's a man that is always trying to prove himself left and right. He is the kid, former BWO Tag Champion, former BXT Exclusive Champion. He has done a lot in his career, and tonight he hopes to get a big win by defeating one of the all-time greats. Can he do it? Can he do it tonight? Now, the big reason why your boy is not at work, the big reason why I'm just in this t-shirt right now is I have been prepping. I have been working. I have not won a match here in the promo division since I defeated Joey Ramboa last year, defending my BWO world title against him at Royal Brutality. Since, I've, since I lost my title to AT last year at Promo Mania, I took a break. I had to recoup. But I came back, and then I was defeated by the Iceman at Promo Mania this year. And then again, I came for the Talk Your Shit Championship and was defeated by Joey Ramboa, the last man who defeated me. And left and right, loss after loss. Three losses in over 15 months. Now, I can't let that go. I got my opportunity at last month's Talk Your Shit. And though I was this close, I lost to Joey Ramboa. So tonight, the gauntlet has been laid down. General Manager King Don Krypton has said that for me to get a Talk Your Shit Championship opportunity tonight, I must go through the gauntlet. So I'm the first in line and I will be a part of this gauntlet, which will be comprised of SNES, Dante Black, and A-List Alverson. Now SNES, he has been made it his mission to be NXT exclusive, BXT exclusive champion. I'm, I apologize. You know, you, you kind of get it. He has made it his mission to be BXT exclusive champion and also tag team champion with his partner for the Super Smash promos, Vega. But sadly, SNES has not gained that win, so a Talk Your Shit Championship opportunity could be epic for him. Also, Dante Black has come through BXT, and he's also been a part of the tag team division. He has tried his best. He also was supposed to be at Bloodbath this year, but sadly could not make that. So I know he hopes to do some big things in this promo division. And A-List Alverson, he answered the Mr. Promo Mania Open Challenge facing Ultra Ego Bones this year at Promo Mania. Now, he has impressed everyone, but he has yet to find his footing here. So all three of these men have a... A want of the Talk Your Shit title. Now, the Talk Your Shit Championship, it is the Workhorse Championship. And for you to prove yourself in this division is to win that Talk Your Shit title. And Joey Ramboa has held the title the longest out of anybody in the longest title reign in BWO promo division history for any title. He has already been a legend. He is also the BWO Tag Team Champion with General Manager Krypton. So I know... I'm going to say it. There's some shenanigans going on. The Pillars want to hold every title that is in this promo division in, with an iron grip. I've allowed this to happen for way too long. I know I should have listened to the Iceman. I should have listened to the people that have been begging for me to write what has been wrong in this promo division for a long time. But I tried my best. I wanted to keep this division growing. I wanted to support the new school. But you know what? Enough is enough. And I haven't been there. I haven't given it my all, but now, tonight, I will. And I will prove it to you all. I will undo those three losses, and I will end the night as Talk Your Shit Champion. 
because that is what I need to do for this promo division. I will redeem myself tonight and that will happen with this gauntlet. So that is my mission and that is what I will do. So promo teeth, history will be made. And to start this off, history will be made in the BWO tag team division as we need new number one contenders to go along with the new titles, which were just revealed recently. Joey Ramboa has them, so he can't say shit that they, he didn't get his titles. All right, you got them. All right, now be happy. Well, whatever. You're going to have to defend those titles at our next premium promo event known as Promoverse, which is already forming to be the next great epic premium promo event that we've ever created where are we opened the promo verse we have gone through as you have seen the uh night kings have gone around and won every tag team title in the promo verse now they hope to do it at home base and so along with others a tournament was created called the n1 classic a brand new concept where so many tag teams came through i even formed a team with orion beckles the arrow and though we didn't get enough points, so many teams have gotten enough points for this battle that now we are at the Block A and Block B champions facing off to name the new BWO Tag Team number one contenders. Who will face the Tag Team Champions, the Pillars, the OG Pillars, OG Mayhem Pillars, whatever the hell that their, their team name is, because I feel like they change it every fucking week. But... They will face off at Promoverse, so we must settle the scores. We must find out who will be the 2024 N1 Classic Inaugural Tournament Champions. Block A. The winners were the Night Kings, and now they will be facing off with the winners of Block B, Entourage. Haywood, Hollywood Haywood, and Tyler Drummond, the Army of One, are part of one of the most talked about factions in the Promoverse. Now, they have come here to the VWO Promo Division to show the world what the Entourage was all about, multiple time tag team champions in other places, and now they hope to do it here in the Promo Division. Now, Hollywood Haywood just returned, and to win a title at the place that gave him his promo start could be a big thing, and of course, we've already talked about the, all the great things that former Promo Division World Champion Tyler Drummond has done, including being commissioner of this place. He started this new school in the way that we do things, and now I know big time, he wants to prove himself worthy. But on the other side, you got two of the all-time greats. We already talked about the Iceman and what he has done. We have already talked about Ultra Ego and what he has done. So tonight, can they gain another chance to take the last set of tag team titles that they don't already have? I don't know. But you know the deal. Let's do it. And let's do it. Right kicking off promo teeth. 2024. The Night Kings, Ultra Ego Bones, and the Iceman Bobby Miller are taking on the Entourage, Hollywood, Haywood, and the Army of One Tyler Drummond, the Block A champions, taking on the Block B champions to name the number one contenders for the BWO Tag Team Champions, taking on the champions, OG Mayhem Pillars, AM Mayhems, Undisputed Talk Your Shit Triple Crown Champion Joey Ramboa and the 2024 King of the Mic Don Krypton at Promoverse who will win and be named the very first N1 Classic 2024 Tournament winner Night Kings versus Entourage send it to the action the following announcement has been paid for by Entourage. We said it was going to happen, and look what happened. We sliced and diced our way through Block B. So we did what we said we were going to do. We went 3-0 in Block B, and now we are staring at 
Iceman Bobby Miller, and Ultra Ego Beast Mode Bones. The Night Kings, the scariest. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I can't lie. I can't lie, fuck those guys. I just beat them over in foundation with Dan of all people. In case you haven't noticed, the gloves have come off and we don't give two fucks about anything but violence tonight. So if we're going down, the Night Kings are going fucking down with us. Bones walks around wearing that fucking robe all day he bought from Bobby at Goodwill. It's the only thing his broke ass looks good in. And he bought it from Goodwill because that's the only fucking place he can afford a fucking robe. Which is the only reason fucking Bobby works at Goodwill. It's the only way he can afford anything with his employee discount using ass. You out there. I mean, you've propped these two guys up way higher than they deserve. I mean, look at these two clowns. Look at Bobby Miller looking like Bob Marley. Correction, Bobby Miller looking like he ate Bob Marley. I mean, come on, Bob. I'm still a heavy guy, but put the fucking gravy down before you die at 45. God's honest truth. You know exactly how we could have vanquished these two fools tonight? How? Table salt. Ordinary, common, everyday table salt. I mean, Bobby would have taken one look at it and went running for the hills. Well, I guess that means I can't use these. Recapping, our last few promos have included LL Cool J references, video game references. We got Haywood standing over here holding Sharpies, talking about table salt. Haywood, are we even sure that these judges are black guys? Because I'm thinking they probably look a little bit more like us. That's got to be the only explanation, right? That's also got to be the only reason why the Night Kings score so high. How does that explain anything? Well, if the judges are white, and you know Bones is whiter than the two of us combined. I mean, you are right there, Tyler. Bones has to be the whitest black guy I've ever met. I mean, he's out there promoing in his backyard, sitting in a robe like a common high society white folk. I mean, he's more insecure than any white emo kid I've ever met. That's why he tries to cover it up with his TL, DR accomplishments. Because deep down, he's an insecure, tall, skinny ass, fucking high society, overprivileged white man in a black man's clothing. These two dudes are so fucking white that not only will I not cross the street if I see them coming at me, I'm going to stop them and ask them for directions to the New Balance store. Because you know they know where to get the whitest dad shoes ever. Bones asked so white, he asked me how to use a gas grill a couple weeks back. Party foul! Some people might say it's so easy, even a caveman could do it. Wait, no clip? I'm sorry, that was supposed to be a clip of the Geico caveman. Yeah, we received a cease and desist order from Geico. Man, we keep getting fucked over left and right. Tyler, man, Tyler, calm down. I'm not calming down. First, it's block B like we're some B-ass tag team. We should have been in block A. Then it's the disrespect from these white fucking judges, and now it's a cease and desist order from Geico. When does it stop? And all the while, I just want to stand here and tell Bobby Miller that he just looks like Lennox Lewis trying to figure out when he's finally going to come out of the fucking closet. <laughs> Bobby is the gay Lennox Lewis. The proper term is he's on the down low with Bones' skinny ass. I guess it's true black guys really are attracted to fat bitches. I mean, they do keep you around. Out of everyone I expected to make a fat joke. You put the damn ball on the tee for me, Tyler. Night Kings, we don't respect you and we've never taken you seriously. All the puff, all the pageantry, all the propaganda you two spew over and over has told us everything we need to know about the two of you. Y'all both just a bunch of bum ass bitches. 
You talk about standing in the front of the line. The only line you've ever standing in front of is the one that passes out the stamps so you can get your damn food. Whew. They ain't getting up from that one. Because Entourage just beat the shit out of the whitest two black guys you ever have seen. And you know what's next? Two white boys winning the tag team gold at promo team. Mayhem, you're up next. So wake your asses up, dust your asses off, and dust those belts off, because Entourage is coming for them. And when we finish, you're going to be putting those hats on us, just like you do Cody Rhodes. The preceding announcement has been paid for by Entourage. Yeah! We made it to the finals of the N1 Classic, baby! Just one more team before we can get OG Mayhem the fuck up out of here! But I look over to you, Bones, and I see that you're not happy, man. What's going on? Am I missing something? What's there to be happy about? Job's not finished. Job finished? I don't think so. Bobby, who's the bodies? Okay, got a point proven. Let's go. We got Entourage. I've been waiting my whole life to face this inbred racist ass Trump supporter Heisman. Yes, Bobby, it's time for a tag team PowerPoint presentation of pain. See if you can find some pictures of his parents. And now... Nah, Bones, this is Entourage life. You ain't got to worry about him here. This is just Tyler Haywood. Oh, oh, then next to PvP. Do not queue up those pictures of Hodgson's love child with his sister. I don't even know if I can do this. This changes the whole vibe. Me and Haywood made up. We're friends. And shit, we're faction mates. And then there's Tyler. That's my motherfucking brother. And he loves black people more than black people love black people. Okay. I'm in that same faction with Haywood too. And Tyler, I mean, he's okay, I guess. But that doesn't mean that we go easy on them. We got to destroy them just like we destroy everybody else in this fucking tournament. We got to show them motherfuckers that winter is here. It's not coming no more. It's right fucking here in their motherfucking faces. And besides, you know they wouldn't even respect us if we went easy on them. The whole reason they came here is for a fucking fight. And to prove that they can make it in the BWO, you know... The thing that they have been unsuccessfully trying over and over again and keep leaving because they can't do that thing. No, Bobby. I don't want to destroy them. Let's help them. I'm tired of Haywood constantly trying to figure out how to win and tired of leaving the BWO after losing. Let's be honest with them like no one else will and teach them. Start with Haywood. It may be tough. But it's love. You see, Hollywood, Haywood, you may have a name for yourself out here in the e bed bubble, but just because you're somebody special out there doesn't make you somebody special here in the BWO. You have to earn that respect here just like everybody else did. Don't nobody want to sit and hear an old man yell and rent for three to five fucking minutes at a time in these promos? See, the only thing that you've been successful in the BWO has been this tournament so far. And the only reason that you've been successful in that is because you had to be carried to do so. And unfortunately, I might have to do the same thing to you in this tournament that I did in the last tournament that we faced off in in the BWO. <laughs> and I know it may be tough. But it's love. And Tyler... I know you beat me before here in BWO, but you've gotten wins over me that didn't matter in the grand scheme of things. Anytime you face me in a match that mattered, I came out and beat the fuck out of you every single time. You kind of like James Harden. You fine when there's nothing on the line, but just like the Bluetooth like a nigga that you are, you don't get hard when there's stakes at hand. And not just against me, you can't get it done against Bobby. Twice. And you couldn't become the inaugural pure shooter champion. You do just enough to get there and then fall short every single time. You gotta be more clutch, Tyler. This may be tough. But it's love. And Tyler, you're a little bit different despite what Bone said because at least you've seen some type of success that matters in the BWO because you are a former BWO champion. Sorry about that little error in our last match too. I mean, because who actually remembers that championship? You know, that championship happened in a dark time in the BWO. And ever since then, everybody has evolved. And your issue is that you didn't evolve with everybody else. You stayed the same. You tried to stick to the same format. And when you finally decided to evolve, and you 
finally started seeing some type of success or at least some inches towards success, you let your fucking emotions get the best of you when you got knocked back a little bit and you decided to run out every single time the shit didn't go your way. I mean, god damn, if you put some of that emotion into your damn promos, you'd be a fucking multi-time world champion right now. See, Tyler, it may be fucking tough. But it's love. Even though Bobby oversold that two-week reign that nobody remembers happened. But anyway, hey Wood, you need to find a way to be more than the gold standard of E-Feds. At some point, we need to be able to tell the difference between one promo and the other. Corporate would like for you to find the difference between these Haywood promos. It's the same picture! Good golly, nigga, I love you, but holy fucking shit, how many times are you gonna keep turning in the same promo and asking why it's not working? If you stuck a key in the door and it didn't unlock, how many good golly times would you try painting a different color and using it again? It may be tough. Man, fuck this love shit, man. That's exactly why they are in the position that they are in now in the BWO. They want to be catered to. They want to be coddled. They want shit to go their way just like it does everywhere else they step their little white toes in. But, dudes, Flash, there's a reason why everything y'all do everywhere else doesn't work here in the BWO, but we can do exactly what we do here and it translates well out there. It's because y'all aren't built different like we are. This shit is tough. This shit is fucking real. So fuck that love shit, fuck that soft shit, and fuck you people for giving them passes and not holding these motherfuckers accountable for all of this bitch shit. Fuck that shit, man, I'm fucking out. Shit, Bobby. Way leave me fucking hanging. But either way, you're right. Entourage has been a thing for years, and it's a reason y'all haven't brought that shit over here to the BWO until now. Y'all saw what happened to the air reality once they brought their quote unquote E Fed dominance over to the big dogs, and y'all knew y'all would have the same fate because y'all knew it wasn't none of that bootlicking shit going on over here. So just know, it don't matter if y'all would have stepped up then, now, or if y'all waited another year to bring Entourage over here. Your fate would have been the same as long as the Night Kings are still breathing into the vision. Wait, hold on. Let me come back and spectate for this one. This nigga spit. Someone once said to me that white guys have a problem getting over in the BWO. And after pointing out that Trevor is a goat, I told them what I'm telling you guys. It ain't that white guys have a problem getting over. It's that white shit does. A one-eyed man is king in the land of the blind. You guys were just a little bit less corny than everyone else in the E-Fed bubble. But the problem is, you're still corny. You're an average looking bitch in a room full of ugly bitches. Yes, all the niggas there think you're fine. But once you're in the room with dimes, bitch, you better make your face up. Regardless of what Bobby said, it may be tough, but it's love. At least for me, they already did. You can send back the ambulance. The winners, the first ever inaugural 2024 in one classic tournament champions, the Night Kings, the Iceman Bobby Miller, and Ultra Ego Bones. Uh, geez, you know what? I've never seen a both inspirational and uh, uh, attack worthy promo that I've seen that like again. I agree. Hopefully the entourage sticks around. Like that was an amazing, amazing promo battle. And that's how you kick start. Promo teeth. All right. I've been already told by King Don Krypton that it's time for me to get to work because it's gauntlet time. So he has taken over. All right. So let's initiate this program. See you soon. Greatness. Greatness. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your general manager and king of the mic, Don Krypton. While BB gets changed and dressed, let me once again regale you with the tales of this gauntlet, the TYS gauntlet. DB will be going through three other competitors in order to get to his coveted prize of the TYS championship. But of course, our reigning longest ever champion in the BWO, Joey Ramboa, will be waiting for him at the end, if he even gets that far. So, let's see what goes on from here. Ladies and gentlemen, let us proceed with the TYS Gauntlet. Battle Grid Alert. 
Prepare for battle grid mode. Whether it's an IRL, 2D, 3D, 4D virtual reality, I will take down any man who steps in front of me in this gauntlet. This is my last chance. This is my last opportunity. After this, there will be nothing left. If I can't do it, if I can't win the Talk Your Shit Championship tonight, then I don't deserve shit in this promo division. And Sunes, you think you got what it takes. You're a man behind the mask. The fire rises, brother. I don't think your Bane wanna be as can handle talking shit better than I can. I've done it all, I've been it all, and I will continue to be it all because I am the very best that does this. And you're a man who has different personalities depending on where you're at. That is nothing. I want the title. I need the title. I am the title. I am this promo division. I am the promo verse. All you are is a pretender. You will never be anything other than that. And until you realize that, then what are you even standing in front of my face doing it? It's flat out disrespect for you to even think that you could take me down. I beat your ass before and I'm doing it again. At the end of tonight, at the end of promo team, I will look Joey Ramboa in the face again and say, give me my shit. There can be only one. And his name is hashtag DP Greatness. Next up. DB Greatness. One of the greatest to do this. You know, your accolades, your accomplishments speak for themselves. One of the greatest promo artists. One of the greatest announcers. One of the greatest promoters. But here's the thing. As many as your accolades and accomplishments are, there's not gonna be too many more added to them, are there? This TYS gauntlet is very important because this will probably be one of the last times that you have a chance to grab that golden belt to make it in this promo game. You see, the sun is setting on your promo career. And while I am heading into my prime, I've got so much left yet to accomplish and so many more miles left on the tank you know it's hard to talk a lot of stuff about me that hasn't already been said i mean seriously what are you gonna say wish.com not your libre are you gonna say something like oh virgin nerd you know smells like dr pepper and doritos i mean seriously what original material are you gonna say about snes you know i still have many more miles to go you know, I am just like Mario. The hits still keep coming and there's more and more opportunities for me to be the greatest promo artist after you and even to surpass you. So DB, I would not be worried as much about winning the TYS title. I'd be more worried about me stealing your thunder. Oh, by the way, I also won the Thunder House of Thunder match. Ladies and gentlemen of the BWO, it is greatness it is greatest, the Reaper Dante Black here to take out the trash. But I seem to be a little bit confused here. Now I know I smoke a lot of green, but I cannot be this high. I open my doors, it's like I walk into the world of the walking dead, cause there's a zombie staring right in front of my eyes. I mean, have not killed you already? They already put you in the ground once before, but it's all good. I'll let you have your moment, let you shine in the limelight, but I steal it away from your grasp in this upcoming last minute and a half. You see, ever since walking from the doors of the BWODB, I've had some ups, and damn, have I had some low downs. The one thing everyone has said is I have one of the sickest flows. One of the best deliveries they've ever seen. But to say I don't have that style. I don't have no substance behind the words that I speak. I don't have that it factor to take me to where I need to be. But it's pretty ironic, because on this occasion, I look at you, and you're just like me. You're trying to dig down deep. 
into your soul to pull it back up, to rekindle that flame. And every single time he gets so close, it extinguishes and turns nothing but a dud. You see, you used to have DB greatness attached to your name, but that greatness faded away. I took it, I put it in my veins, and implemented it into my brain. You see, you used to have substance behind your words. It would leave an impact and leave everyone in awe. And now, all they do is take a piss break, thinking that you should just move on. She so used to call yourself something, DB. The wrestling professional of the industry. Completely destroy everyone who came in your path. But now all you're is a washed up. You're a wannabe. And man, let's face the facts. It may hurt, but it's true. You're a has-been, and you always will be. Battle grid alert. Prepare for battle grid mode. Okay, I guess I gotta turn up the heat and talk some shit. Perfect timing to another pretender, Dante Black, the white DB, looking like Darby Allen after he got hit by that fucking bus. Thank you so much for turning in a promo to your white friends among your thousand other shitty ones you turn in per week. You know what pisses me off the most in promo? It's clown gimmicks, gimmick matches, Trent Wilson, and most of all, unrealized potential. You beat me last year in the A-list showcase. It was your story, but since then, you haven't done shit. And you were ready made. You are a main eventer, but all you're doing is talking like you're actually in a wrestling match. You know, promo wrestling is already nerdy as fuck, and now you're making it worse. But then again, you shouldn't even be in this competition, right? You already have a Talk Your Shit Championship of your own. Hmm. Wonder where you got that fucking idea from, huh? I wonder if it's appreciation or appropriation. It's okay, Dante. It's okay. I forgive you because I understand. Why? have a pretend when you can have the original. That is why this competition is mine. That is why I will be the Talk Your Shit Champion and that is why I am the very best and there can be only one. Step the fuck back. You've been throwing parties all night, just living the dream, being Ted DB greatness, and suddenly a number gets called. You look out, eyes wide, sweating down, getting a little exhausted, but you know the fight is just about to start. A-list Averson comes into the BWO, raring to go. This is a place where you have got to be on point. This is a place where you've got to bring your best and prepare BWO because me here is like fucking Hulk Hogan in Japan. DB Greatness, it's a safe bet to say that you and I have been pretty familiar with each other lately. It's also easy to note that we ain't been getting along very well. What I don't want you to do is fool yourself into thinking that I have got any level of satisfaction based on the outcomes of what you and I have done together. Yeah, I might have won the decision in the encounter, but I ain't got the job anymore that you were trying to take from me. So now karma is coming into the BWO on your gauntlet night, celebrating this man in your environment, and buddy, bring it down. Slap it out! I will stand face to face with you and tell you I am beyond greatness, you one-dimensional bastard. Each battle, I get closer. Each battle, I get stronger. Each battle further proves that there can be only one. And I am the one for the Talk Your Shit Championship. And standing in my way is the man that called me One Dimension Greatness. Richard, A-List Alverson, or in this case, I'd like to call your ass 
aimless A-list. Because let me tell you something about Mr. A-list Alverson. He talks a whole bunch of nothing creatively. Now that is a skill all upon itself. And maybe that is why you have been successful everywhere. But what do you really have to say? You like me. I know you do. You hype me up bigger than anyone else in other places. But when you step into my home, when you step into my land known as the BWO promo division, I am the very best. I was bred and born here. And you're not going to step into my house and try to take what I was meant for. Joey Ramboa knows that this battle was already set in place when I said that I will start this bitch first in the gauntlet battle. And there is nothing that you can do, nothing that your Steven Seagal looking ass can do to prove that you're better than me. I will wear blazers. I will do what I need to do. I will wear silly wigs if it means that I get another opportunity at that title. What are you willing to give? Nothing. You don't have the desire. You don't have the gall. You don't have the gumption. You don't have the moxie, kid. So step aside because guess who is going full steam ahead for that title? It is me and it was always meant to be me. Hmm. A tie. While it would probably be in my best interest to just disqualify both of you, let's make it interesting. Ramboa, you've got a fight on your hands. We are going to turn this into a triple threat match featuring DB Greatness, A-List Alverson, and your reigning undisputed TYS champion, Joey Rambo. <laughs> Greatness. Oh. <sighs> Luckily, this battle grid program put me back in my work shirt. <sighs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, GM Krypton, for you know doing what you do. As you heard, tonight, instead of a one-on-one -on -one match for the Talk Your Shit Championship, there was a tie between me and A-List Alverson. I tried my best. I tried everything that I could, but we ended in a tie. So it will be a triple threat match for the Talk Your Shit Championship. I got to refocus. I got to rethink. So we'll get there. But I told you. I will redeem myself, and tonight I will end the night as Talk Your Shit Champion, and I will defeat the man that I've never defeated before, and that is A-List Alverson. A-List, you're right, karma got me back, but karma will be in my favor at the end of the night. All right, enough about me. Promo Teens is already one of the all-time great events, and you know what will help me in this moment? One of the best new divisions that we have ever created, and that is the pure shooter division. Of course, it was dedicated to the one and only, the legendary last shooter, Stephen Faison, the GOAT himself. In honor of him, we created a title where there is no edits, no music, it is all bars, and that has already been off to the great start. The inaugural champion was a different breed, the Vagabond. He defeated, he defeated Lamar, his own bro brother, and Tyler Drummond. Now, there's a lot of controversy, and even I will be honest, I added to it. A lot of people felt that Tyler should have been the first champion, but... The Vagabond has gone on to further prove himself more, defeating his first uh, uh, opponent for that title being El Wapo. So the pure shooter title is off to a great start, but 
Tyler has earned his title opportunity. Now, he did, did not win as part of the N1 Classic. Him and Haywood lost, sadly, but I know he's even more pissed off than ever because he wants to win this title more than anything else. So tonight, we're going to see if he can do it. Will the Vagabond continue to be the very first pure shooter champion or will Tyler win tonight, becoming the newest pure shooter champion? I don't know, but let's stand out of the way and let them do their thing for the pure shooter title. The champion, a different breed, the Vagabond taking on army of one Tyler Drummond. Send it to the action. Tonight, Vagabond, this isn't personal at all. This is strictly business. See, I'm pissed off and I'm a goddamn wrecking machine tonight. I've been waiting over two long ass months for this match because... Let me just get the giant ass elephant to fuck up out the room right off the bat. I got fucked at Promo Mania. How the fuck am I going to score absolutely perfect in the eyes of two judges and then end up monotone in the eyes of the third with dog shit scores? How much motherfucking inflection do you need? Do you need me to be Freddie Mercury and hit all eight octaves out here? Two perfect scores, and then the reviews come out. And I'm literally promo of the weekend. And I still fucking lost. But this, this isn't about that. This isn't a bitch session about the fucking judges. Because I beat Vagabond the first time. I know it. You all know it. He knows it. So if I've got to go out here and beat his ass again tonight, so be it. Because a pure shooter doesn't run from a fight. I guess, I guess I'm just a little embarrassed that Vagabond walks around with that title, representing everything it represents and can actually hold his head high. Okay, you defended that strap against Wapo, but come on, who doesn't fucking beat Wapo? You should have been man enough and champ enough to acknowledge the Montreal style screw job that happened to me and give me my shot at that title. But no, I had to track you down for months as you dodged, ducked, dipped, ducked, and dodged your way away from me. BWO, this is your Pew Shooter champion? Vagabond's place amongst the champions here in BWO is the promo equivalent of that horse meme. The forced three quarters are drawn perfectly. You've got A.T., Ramboa, Krypton, A.J. Davis, talented, deserving, amazing champions. But then you've got the last quarter of that picture, and it looks like shit because it was drawn by a two-year-old and it has stick figure legs. That's your pure shooter champion. The man is a pure shooter of bullshit. I'm a pure shooter of fire, but still, I stay chasing and specifically this belt, because this belt is the belt in my eyes. This was the belt created for the greatest and last shooter this game has ever seen. No one shot harder than Young Gun. But if that man is the last shooter, then you can refer to me as the motherfucking last gunslinger in the game. And this is why there's no one better in the game for the Pure Shooter Championship than the man standing in front of you like a gunslinger. I step the fuck up to your face. Face you like a man and let my words pierce your souls. There isn't a man in this game, then, now, or forever, that intimidates me and I'll look them all square in the eye and swing until they all drop. I am the definition of what a pure shooter is. So you can either go with the gunslinger who will represent BWO with pride and defend that belt with every last breath I have. Or you can go with the guy who's only holding that belt because Judge 2 got his period during promo mania. Last gunslinger out. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am a different breed, the Baba Yaga, the motherfucking vagabond, your current reigning, defending, pure shooter champion. Hi, Tyler. How you been? Remember the last time we encountered each other? 
Hmm? What happened last time? Oh, that's right. You couldn't cut it. You lost to me. I showed up. I showed out. I stood ten toes down. Stood on business. Tyler did none of these things. I tell you what he did. He choked. I mean, he sure showed us who he was without being the conscriptor. Because that shit was nothing but a fucking crutch. An insecurity. Your mask of insecurity. Because without it, you ain't shit. But this middle-aged, overweight, midlife crisis having white boy. Trying to hang with a group of niggas. Unbeknownst to you, you came in here facing with a shark. A G. That nigga. My words are going to cut through you. Like a hot knife through fucking butter. My words are going to leave you with holes. Leave you hollow. I'm not speaking cap. I'm just speaking facts. That's the truth. That's going to be a hard pill for you to fucking swallow. I pity you. Because you're probably going to bring something really good to the table. But at the end of the day, it's not going to amount to shit. Because just like last time, you're going to choke. Because you've shown everybody that under the lens of scrutiny of all your peers, underneath all that pressure, you couldn't hang. Because I told everybody that this shit was going to be mine and this shit is mine. You ain't got that bass in your voice to hang with me. The only thing you're going to do is hang by your feet. Then I'm going to make you a fucking pariah. Show you out to the BWO. Is this your conscriptor? Because I don't know this dude. Because Drummy, I'm putting all the pressure on you, on your shoulders. You don't like it. You hate it. It permeates your entire being, just like the loss I gave you. And you're going to come up short again. And you'll have nobody but yourself to blame again. Because I'm a master chess player, master manipulator. All I got to do is throw out my strings like a master puppeteer. Wrap them around you. Arms, legs, feet, head, neck. Make you dance like the marionette bitch that you are. And you know you are. Because you're going to be looking in my eyes. Thinking you're saying some hot shit. When really, it's just me manipulating you. Controlling the narrative. Controlling the tone. The pace. Because this is my shit. I don't need the Shadow Realm. I sure as fuck don't need the demon to get this shit done. Simply put, Tyler Drummond. I don't see the conscriptor. I just see Tyler fucking Drummond. Everybody sees the motherfucking vagabond. But who do they see standing on the other side? Tyler fucking Drummond. Because you're weak. You're vulnerable. You ain't shit here. Without your elements, without your lighting, without all the fancy tricks, who are you? Nothing and nobody, G. <laughs> now I'm going to walk away from all this. Because I said what needed to be said, and this battle was over. This is why the Pure Shooter Division is one of the greatest new things to be in this promo division, and I absolutely love it. No longer is he the Army of One. He is now the last gunslinger and new Pure Shooter champion, Tyler Drummond. Young Gun's looking down, and he's proud of you, and I got to give credit to the Vagabond. He was underscored, in my opinion, but that was still an epic match. Now, next up, speaking of epic matches... The Iceman Bobby Miller. He's not competed a lot. This is not. This is only his his second other match this year. He defeated me at Promo Mania. 
in one of the best matches of that event. And now he wants to shut up Buckshot. Now, Buckshot, former BXT exclusive champion, former tag team champion, he is still willing to prove himself here in this division, the last bullet in the chamber. Can he do it? Can he do it? Well, they both better bring their A game, niggas. It's time for that battle. The Iceman Bobby Miller is taking on Buckshot. Send it to the action. Tell them who you are. Who I am is the greatest person ever to step foot in the BW1. Who I am is the fucking man, the top guy that should be every fucking single way here in the BW1. I've surpassed people that people think that I couldn't do. They thought straight up that Buckshot didn't have it. They should be saying, oh, he's holding Young Buck back. No, I had to evolve. And Bobby, what have you done? You've evolved into the fuck the people guy. I'm pretty sure the last person that did that was Gas, and the last time I checked from the promo observer, his ass got released. Tell them who you are. Who I am, Bobby, is a trained killer. Who I am is the person that can have the style, have the uniqueness, have the kick-ass attitude that has to be here in the BWI, because everyone thinks that I don't have that ability, that I don't have Killer Instinct. Bullshit. I've shown time and time again, ever since I got back to the BWO, that I have Killer Instinct. Every single time that I've walked out of here, every fucking person has been scared of me. And you know what, Bobby? I'm glad you're not. I'm glad you are not that guy that's been scared of me because, quite frankly, I've wanted to face you. And you said that, didn't you? You said for a best part of the year that I wanted to face you. And you're absolutely fucking right. Tell them who you are. I'm the guy that still wants to beat you. I'm the guy that want to take BWO to new heights. I want to be that guy. I want to be the face of change. I want to be the pure shooter champion. I want to be the tag team champion. I want to be the BXT champion. I want to be BWO world, world champion. I want to be talk your shit champion. I want to be that guy because I know for a fact Every single time that I hold a championship, I'm the catalyst for change. Every single time that I walk out of here, I know who exactly who I am. See, I went through an identity crisis before I came back. I didn't know who I was, Bobby. I didn't. And now I know who I am is a fucking bully. Who I am is the fucking nigga right here, right now, that's going to put a bullet in your head here at Promo Team. Tell them who you are. I don't know why I kept calling you out. Because I wanted challenges. I wanted someone to test my skills. I wanted someone to test my might. And quite frankly, now, I am at that point where I need to be proving myself. I'm at that point right here, right now, tonight, that I have got to prove everything. I can prove all my bullshit that was wrong. Because you have been one of them, haven't you? You've been doubting me as a promo artist. You've doubted me as a person. You have doubted every single thing that I have done, Bobby. And here tonight, promo team, I'm not letting you do it. I'm not letting you control me. I'm not letting you think that you know me because no one knows me anymore. I am Boxshot. I'm not a pillar of Jason. I am nothing to do with mayhem. I'm here to stand on my own two feet. And you know what, Bobby? I have put every single fucking person down that I have had to here in the BWO and the Promoverse across everywhere. I have had to do that to be me. Who are you, Bobby? A lackey. Who you are is someone that is carrying Bones' bags. Oh, Buckshot, congratulations! You finally did it! Let's go, boy! You finally dropped your nuts and became a big boy and dropped the whole pillar adjacent bit. But there's only one problem with that. You did it too fucking late. Because now, guess what, Buckshot? That's your legacy. That's what you're known for in the BWO. You know for being the pillar's little side bitch. It is your fault for falling for it. It is your fucking fault for being just as stupid as these fucking people when it comes to dealing with these pillars. You let them manipulate you into being 
that go. And all of your accomplishments in the BWO, as far as the main roster is concerned, is because of them. And they can say that shit. Well, I say all of your accomplishments when it was really one, because you haven't done shit here. You got a tag team championship ring that, thanks to fucking Mayhem, you didn't even have to win. You were literally giving an accolade on the fucking main roster thanks to them. You are literally on their little leash. And then you want to blame them for you not being here? You want to blame them for your misfortunes that you have on the other side of the promo first? Nigga, that's your fault. They didn't lose those matches. They're not over there getting their ass whooped over there. That's all you. Hell, I'm whooping your ass all across the promo first. It started in WGP. And then I just whooped your ass not too long ago on Foundation. And you really think that you're going to come into my motherfucking home and beat me? Where I'm the fucking greatest at? Fuck, shot, you done lost your goddamn mind, boy. I'm happy that you felt this newfound beginning for you here without the pillars. I'm happy that you can see your own fucking legacy through. It's great. It's fucking amazing. But you need to put your ass in check for just one second. The only accomplishment that you've done around here on your own two feet is win the BXT championship and you lost it the next fucking day. And you think you're ready for greatness already? Boy, you got a lot of fucking work to do. And let this be your humbling experience. Your first step in humbling your ass and letting you know that you're still a work in progress. That being said, fuck the people. Your winner, the Iceman Bobby Miller. Whoo, brutal, brutal, brutal. All right. Now the time has come. Earlier tonight, I went through the gauntlet to gain an opportunity for the Talk Is Shit Championship. Last month at TYS, I was in the in the match against Joey Ramboa in the main event, and I was defeated. So now tonight, I tried to get my opportunity again. I defeated SNES. I defeated Dante Black, but then I got to A-list Alverson and just this close, we tied. So now, King Don Krypton, I swear he's working against me, has made this a triple threat match. It will be me, hashtag DB Greatness. A-list Alverson coming for Joey Ramboa. Joey Ramboa, the longest reigning champion in BWO history. He is the longest reigning TYS champion, tag team champion. One of the all-time greats, promo MVP. He has done it all. But tonight... I can't leave without that title. If I don't win this match, that is it for me. I leave. I will not host. I will not do anything else in the promo verse. So it's all or nothing. So let's do this. For the Talk Your Shit Championship, Joey Ramboa defends his title against A-List Alverson and hashtag DB Greatness. I will face A-list Alverson, the man that I've never defeated, and the man who defeated me for the title that I want. All or nothing. Rambo, DB Greatness, Alverson, send it to the action. You don't even understand the deal. I was already checked out of the hotel, pre-checked in for an international flight. I am pressed on the red eye. I ain't got enough time to shave, shower, and shit in three different points in time. But damn it, they told me 
playlist. You need to come back. You made the finals, buddy. You are in the TYS Talk Your Shit Championship match. And there's plenty of people that don't believe I belong in this spot. There's plenty of people that don't believe I even belong in this environment. And I'm sure there's people who are downright disturbed that DB Greatness could not get a decisive victory over A-List Alverson in the BWO. Joey Ramboozer, wrong time, wrong situation, wrong set of circumstances, but A-List Alverson, damn it, somebody get me a green crayon because we're about to draw some money. Now see, for the naysayers and the non-believers, I got some things I got to point out here, right? The people that think I am not of your type, your ilk, your style, let me tell you some truths, some absolute truths. The real ones know that there's five boroughs in New York City and only one that you want to talk about visiting. That's A-List Alverson's view on the world. I've had the pizza that I ordered sold to the punks that were sitting on the doorstep outside. I have had the delivery boy shortchange me and then curse me out for not giving him a tip. I am about to take my frustrations out on y'all for this. And I know that the best Mexican food is made by Chinese people. Joey Ramboa, the Talk Your Shit champion, you've never dealt with someone quite the caliber and versatility as I. I can see that just in the way that you present yourself. DB Greatness, you know damn good and well what you've gotten yourself into, and you wish you could have got yourself out of it before it came to the point of you having to deal with this time after time. I ain't been warmed up yet, but brother, the gas in the tank is never going to run out when A-List Alverson is in-house. Now listen, I'm going on an excursion, international travel, I'm going to be completely out of pocket, I ain't going to know what happened in the world when I get back, but I know that the world will be exactly the place I left it because the world does nothing without me running it. I might get distracted here and there once in a while by things like res lights and stopping cops. You can't be too careful. I mean, I know people, but I got as many enemies as I do privileges. Speaking of privileges, the difference between what I've got and what everybody accuses me of having is one thing you are born with, a gift, another you are earned from, pedigree. A-List Alverson checks every box on the chain and the disdain that comes my way from people who are jealous of the talent they wish they could possess astonishes me. Put as much energy into working on yourself as you do of hating me for the things I am good at, and damn it, you might make something of yourself. I am the top guy ever anywhere. If you don't agree with me, challenge me on it. Because tonight, brother, I'm making it clear to you, I'm going to talk shit because I have real shit to talk. Battle Grid Alert. Prepare for Battle Grid Mode. Despite the tie, the gauntlet was a success for your boy. It gave me enough power to be able to take the title that has been meant for me for years. And not to mention... It gives me enough shit to talk to take you both down. So first of all, fuck you. And next, let's start off with A-List Alverson. Despite the many people that have rolled in from the promo verse, despite all the guys that have decided to come and be a part of the BWO, you're not only the least interesting, you're the one with the smallest footprint. I'm tired of all these bitches hyping you up like you're the second coming of Jesus. Now, you look a little like him, but that doesn't mean your Doug Dimadone sounded ass can win my Talk Your Shit Championship. You sound like a Muppet Park Ranger when you talk. An incompetent sheriff. I swear, Bugs Bunny must be stressing your ass out every single week. You are nothing here. You will never be anything here. 
So why don't you just take your stupid looking blazer and go somewhere else, stay away from my division once and for all. Joey Ramboa though, you're the biggest disappointment out of anybody. You know what? I saw your weakness here. Your legacy is abysmal. Not only have you not beat anyone since you defeated Bones, Trevor didn't care enough to give you a good enough promo to take you out and you thought you were hot shit when you took him down, right? What, let's see who you beat. AEP, AJ Davis, weak, weak. Oh, who else did you face off with? Fucking gas, everyone's beat gas at least once or twice. Oh, oh, then you did your Lamar match. Lamar was probably doing too many fucking shows anyway, so he phoned it in. Now, the only matches of worth that you've had since you won your talker shit championship, Steven and me. And I was this close to taking you down once and for all, Joey. What do you think this is going to lead to? You think that you're going to continue to hold your title for another fucking year? Well, you know, you're afraid, aren't you? You know that once you cross that line, once you lose that title, you got to try to move up to the world title division and you're fucking scared. You are shaking in your boots. It is keeping you up late at night that you can't hold this bitch together. Promo MVP, huh? You are upper mid card at most and you were put there by me. I'm tired of being humble. I'm tired of everyone thinking DB was nothing, DB was this, DB was this and that and the other, but guess what? No matter if I win or lose, it doesn't matter who I face off with anytime you see my name versus someone, they know I'm gonna bring that shit and they know that there's just this bit of chance that I will take what I want. Neither one of you got that shit. But when you're the very best, you always do. Greatness. 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 Fidita Music. Donuts on the feed. Sean, I knew you'd make it back here. I knew you'd get through this gauntlet. I saw that fire in your eyes at TYS. And now that I've evened the score from Royal Brutality 2023, one victory to one victory, I can honestly come clean to you and say, at Royal Brutality, I almost walked away from this game. I was this close. But something in me whispered, just stick around till Promo Mania. And what happened at Promo Mania was the beginning of one of the greatest singles run in BWO history. I went on and became the TYS champion. I went on and had one of the greatest matches of all time against Bones at Promo Slam to become undisputed TYS champion. I went, rekindled my friendship with Don Krypton and became BWO Tag Team Champion. I became one of the longest reigning, no, excuse me, the longest reigning BWO champion of any kind in BWO history. I became champion in multiple E-Feds across the promo verse. And I honestly have nothing more to give. I gave you 115% at TYS. And that's the reason that I've come out here to retire. Because as I look at you, I refuse to become a parody of myself. I refuse to become a shell of myself. So congratulations. And new. That's what I would say. That's what I would say if you actually would have made it through this gauntlet and actually had a victory. But no, no, Mr. Better Than Efed, Mr. One of the Best that does this shit. 
couldn't get through an E-fed ass nigga. This lovable fat nigga came over here and tied with the skinny fat nigga. This wide hip ass nigga. This motherfucking Steven Seagal looking ass motherfucker. This is the reason why I can't retire. Because there's nobody, there's nobody that's willing to take this championship and do what I did with it. Go on to the next level with it. Able to hold this mantle with dignity and greatness. DB greatness. Man, you mid as fuck. Every time you come out here as a competitor, every time you give your time to WGP, to Foundation, PDL lacks. They get later and later and maybe we'll only have two PDLs this month. Oh, it's okay. It's just it's only entertainment. Fuck you. You're what's wrong with this place. Your lack of passion, I saw exactly how much fire was inside of your eyes. And you're like a Charmander who's becoming a Marowak, just a bone on your head, dying. Your flame is dead. And that's why you ain't got no wins in Mikasa. You know what? Thank you, Joey Rambo. Thank you, A-List Alverson. Thank you. I needed to beat you both. Joey Rambo was right. My fire was gone. The shows are later. Everything is falling apart because my focus is not where it needed to be. And tonight, I got that fire back. I lit that bitch. And now, I defeated the largest reigning champion in BWO history. And I have won the Talk Your Shit Championship. This is my second Talk Your Shit Championship reign and what will be the greatest title reign since Joey Ramboa. Thank you. And promo of the night. Mm. Love it. Now, if you want to be a part of this shit, you know the deal. Message the BWO Facebook page so you can be a part of BXT our developmental brand growing the next great promo superstars the current champion the alpha aj davis has grown into the next young goat will you be that young goat message that page and you'll get in contact with someone from the bwo promo council as we continue to grow the next generation and of course bxt is every wednesday on the b W.O. Promo Division Facebook page. Now, it's time for the main event. Earlier tonight, the Night Kings gained the tag team title opportunity at our next premium promo event, which will be Promo Verse, as they defeated the Promo Verse's arguably legendary group, the Entourage. The Iceman Bobby Miller went on to defeat Buckshot, and now it's Bones' turn. He is the Foundation World Champion and the WGP World Champion. But one title that put him on the map is the BWO World Heavyweight Championship. He has the most title reigns in BWO history of any kind. But Joey Ramboa took his longest title reign of any kind title, so he doesn't have that. But he's won them all. He's been it all. And now he wants to take all the titles in the promo verse, all the world titles for himself. But standing in his way is the two-time BWO world champion, the face of the BWO AT, former king of the microphone, winner of the golden mic. He cashed it in on the man that did it to him after he won this title at Promo Mania last year, defeating the very best that does this in the main event. He won that title. Then Jay the Ace cashed in on him. Now we thought things were okay as they went on to become members of the Pillars together. But AT didn't let that down. He still had a mission after he won the Golden Mike in January. He cashed in 
on the promo division live before promo mania changing our main event changing everything defeating jay the ace and then going to the main event of promo mania the second year in a row but initially going into promo mania ultra ego bones latest challenge to at they have issues they have beef we've never seen this match before and it was going to be a promo mania epic time but things changed and so bones had to make an open challenge with a-list alverson answered and went on in that promo mania open challenge winning but bones didn't let that go he went on to the promo verse winning two world titles and now we finally get this match that we've always wanted to see in the main event of promo teams it's going to be a blood bath <laughs> shout out to that event so let's do it and let's do it right for the bwo world heavyweight championship the foundation wgp world champion ultra ego bones challenging the bwo world champion the face of bwo at send it to the edge mike check this thing on when i saw that i was finally getting my match against my nemesis at and it was also for my fourth BWO world title, I said to myself, what can I do to out AT AT? Because when AT cuts a promo, you know you getting everything. You know you getting the perfect camera lenses, the perfect lighting, you know that you getting the special effects. You might get some fucking pyro. Who knows what the fuck the background's gonna be? Like you know that it's a circus act to watch this clown go through a fire round. And it's crazy to me. That I felt like I needed to go do those things. Because when I look at him doing all of those things, I say to myself, look at what this bitch has to do to mimic a fraction of my charisma. So I decided to go the opposite direction, right? I'm going to stand here and I'm going to talk to you. It's been a long time because I've been playing with my props too. I've been playing with that shit too because I feel like I needed it. But that's because I've been watching what everyone else has become because of the cancer. A.T., He's a motherfucking problem. And I see this. I was so angry when I heard him call himself the face of the BWO. And I said to myself, well, goddamn, it must be two faces. But I realized there is two faces to the BWO, just like there's two faces to AT. Because AT is one of the most two-faced motherfuckers you can find. But there is two faces to the BWO. There is this side where everybody wants to start doing magic tricks and shit. But on top of that, the division, he he represents what this division has become better than anybody else right now. There's a couple of things that have happened to this division. I've noticed, I don't know if you guys are watching along noticing too, but I've noticed. Have you noticed how we don't get a weekly PDL? PDL shows up whenever it wants to, just like our motherfucking champion. Have you noticed we don't get PDL matches no more? We have matches every once in a while. I think we done had two pay-per-views. In two months, we done had like eight matches. Just like our fucking champion. Everything about this shit has become like him. That's why we two-faced now too. Just like our fucking champion. And that's the shit that I'm trying to save y'all from. Because that other face, that other face still exists. That other face is my face. That other face is the real ones in the locker room. The ones who can cut the camera on and just fucking spit. Man, I'm getting hot around this bitch. The ones who can just cut the camera on and just spit and tell you the shit that's going on, what your opponents is, break them down on a subatomic level. It's the ones who don't need that shit. It's the ones who can talk for, oh shit, I'm going on three minutes now without having to cut my camera off, AT, who can't do that shit. That's the face of what I represent. I represent the ones who can cut the camera on and let that shit run until they're finished. And that's just one half of the problem because I can't let this whole promo go through without me going to the other side because I need to tell you people, the motherfucker that y'all follow behind is a fucking bitch. Now y'all let him act like he's trying to save this division. He's trying to raise this division or make this division better. Y'all let him act like that shit is how it is. In the meanwhile, he's slandering us when he's not the champion. That's why I left in November. Because he's going around telling people how the council is cheating behind the scenes. If he really was here for us, he wouldn't be making other people look at that bullshit because he don't understand. See, the problem is, I get it. 
If I thought that shit, I would want to be telling people too. But you know what I would do? I would step to your motherfucking face as a motherfucking man. Beast mode bones ain't never stabbed nobody in the motherfucking back. I will stab you in the goddamn face. And that's why, as soon as I had a problem with this bitch, I came to this bitch's inbox. When I went to this bitch's inbox, you know what he did? Blocked me. Ran like a fucking hoe ass pussy. And that's why I'm mad. I'm not only mad because they are mad because of how y'all all supported him when he did that shit. You guys did that shit. You guys followed behind the pussy like, like buckshot. <laughs> you guys followed behind the pussy like y'all was a bunch of buckshots. And I'm disappointed in you, Promo Division, but that's not what we're here to talk about. I'll win this title, I promise y'all will hear about it every day. Which I probably won't win this title because like I said, AT is the face of the division. So it's all about the props. It's all about the magic. It's all about the fact that he's going to say one, two sentences at a time and keep editing himself in and out. It's going to make it seem like he never makes a mistake. I want y'all to stand back and realize that I never cut out one time on this motherfucking video. I'm not even going to cut myself turning this bitch off. I want y'all to realize that this is the realest promo that you ever going to get. This is raw and it's pure essence of form. He already did. You can send back the ambulance. Oh, and y'all can see me press the button too. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, guess who's back? It's me, the ringmaster of chaos, Mr. Hypnotic. <laughs> so gather around as we watch A.T. kill Bone Thugs in No Harmony. And this should be good, because I love a good murder. Uh, 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 uh. Bones, let's be very fucking clear. Since day one, You've had it out for me. I felt it in your sneers, your underhanded comments. You trying to stop my rise at every chance you got in the BWO. And at first, I took it very fucking personal. But then I realized, that's just who you are. You're nothing more than a jealous, bitter, insecure shell of a man. And for years, I called out your bullshit. I tried to fight for the injustices here in the BWO. And what happened? The council turned a blind eye. But despite all the bullshit of being misjudged, misunderstood, I still became a force to reckon with. I still raised the bar along with Jada Ace, King Don, and Joy Ramboa, and together we shattered the glass fucking ceilings and we became the pillars, the most dominant faction in BWO history. And it made you go insane. <laughs> and what did you do? You tried to break us, form your own little fashion to come against us, but you felt miserably at every chance you got. But then again, there was one chance when you kind of got the upper hand, but that's when you and your squad cheated to win. Because how did you beat the Pillars when we didn't even debut yet? And see, that was the downfall between you and our bones. And you know, Tuck is somebody I, I considered a friend. And so I hit him up one day to check in on his mental well-being. He asked me about BWL, some questions, and I answered them honestly. I was never just randomly talking about the council. But then this asshole had to go and screenshot our conversation, sending it to the council, sending y'all into a frenzy. And what did you do? You came in my DMs like a crazy fucking person, talking about why was I talking about you, which is crazy to me because I never mentioned your fucking name. All I was talking about was how was I in the match, and I didn't even know about it. Because the crazy thing is, y'all attacked me so much in that match that if it was real, I would have lost and got the pin for my team. So you damn right I was fucking upset. It was a setup. But see, then Tuck tried to apologize, but it was too late. The damage was done. Because then I had to protect my peace, so I told you to go get therapy, and then I blocked your ass. And what did you do? You took our private conversation, you addressed me in the group chat for everybody to see, trying to humiliate me. But that's how the universe works because you made a fool of yourself. People saw how unhinged you were. And then you got mad. And what did you do? You quit for the umpteen fucking time. But see, that's your pattern. You quit, you come back. You quit, you come back. Because BWO and promoing is all you have. See, men like you always try to cling on to the most meaningful thing in their lives. Always do. And it's sad. Because you're not even the number one guy anymore. You're not even close. You're not even top five. Oh. But I understand you want to get back in the top. You want my title, right? Well, you're going to have to fucking earn it. Bring your A-game and win or simply apologize. 
apologize to me for your blatant disrespect, for the bullshit that you've put me through all these fucking years. If you manage to show an ounce of humility, I will gladly hand over this title. But we both know that your alter ego won't allow you to do it. Too big to fail to small bones, matters. I'm not here to be your friend. I don't give a fuck about you. I don't care if you don't like me, if you don't respect me as a promo artist or a man or the bullshit you be saying. I just want a peace of mind. I want to be able to walk down this earth, walk down the street, doing my thing without having a hating ass, bitch ass bones breathing down my neck. Because despite all the bullshit, I still stand here as a tag team champion, a minute to win it winner, king of the mic, golden mic winner. I am a main eventer who has main evented promo mania two times in a row, and I'm a two time fucking BWO champion. Bones, you may be talented, but you're not that fucking talented. And that's why here right now at Promo Teens, I'm showing you why I'm the face, why I wear this title proudly, and why I am now above your level. And I'm very happy that we're finally having this one-on-one this -on -one match, because now you'll see how you're a footnote in my legacy. And to everybody else, if you ain't know, now you know. I'm AT, the two-time champion in the face of the BWO. <laughs> <laughs> Ah! <laughs>congratulations to the face of the BWOAT he is still BWO world champion and whew, that was a battle uh, you know the deal subscribe 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 so hopefully you're watching this on the BWO network YouTube page so you can watch all of these shows these premium promo events because next up is our next newest premium promo event called promo verse because we opened it we've dominated it and now we are ruling over it what will that event be a part of? All we know is the one match so far that is to come. The Night Kings are taking on AM Mayhem for the BWO Tag Team Championship. It's gonna be a big time match. So, we'll get there soon. But of course, you can watch weekly promo division lives. All the previous promo events that we've had this year, including the two-night extravaganza promo mania. And Promo Slam is on the way soon at the end of the summer, so already we are leading up to great things, and you know the deal. Get the stuff that you like. Hopefully this will come back soon, but we have the BWO shop.bigcartel.com with all of the BWO merchandise to rep, to rock, and if I get that crop top, I better get a perfect promo. I'm just letting you bitches know right now. So, coming up coming up soon is another episode of BXT and then Promo Division Live next year, the Fallout, so we'll see how it goes down. With that being said, this has been Promo Teens. I am your talk your shit champion, hashtag DB Greatness, and you have a wonderful night.